Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have an unboxing from the cubicle that you us. So let's go, let's open it. So I got my knife out. All right. Now, if I can, I might cut this this time. You guys ready for this? You guys proud of me? I did it. First try. All right. Receipt. And here we go. Okay, hold on. The mini Wushui M. Mm. Okay, anything else? Um, no. Alright. Sorry for the weird lighting, I just have my light on back there. So, yeah, you can see the GoPro shadow right here. Um, but yeah, here's the actual cube. It's got a nice box. I like this. So it's made hot. Oh, are these like the magnets? Like if you can... Are those the magnets? I think those might be the magnets right here. Alright, that's pretty cool if it is. And I got a stickerless. Oh, this looks so nice. It's a little bit smaller than I thought, but it's almost here. Let me get a 3x3 three three if I can find one. Okay, never mind. Um, I got my 4x4. Four four. I'm gonna put this. Oh, wait, there's more stuff. Alright, um, we got this little pamphlet. And anything under. Nope. Alright. So here's my 4x4 four four that I use now. Size difference, I mean, it's not that big, but it's definitely there. Like, you'll definitely be able to feel it in the solves. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's a little bit smaller. Um, it doesn't look too small, but like, it feels really small in my hands. Right, I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way real quick. Alright, here we go. So, whoa. So it's, okay, it's a little bit, actually no, it's not too bad, and uh, there's not, like, there's barely any lube on the edges. And there's like a little, I think the pieces, like, I gotta put this, like, this little scratchy thing right here, I don't know what that is, but let's get into first turns. Okay, that's very, very scratchy, especially on the inner layers, but like, I think with just break-in, because I've, I've seen people say that if you use break-in, um, it'll, like, turn better. It feels sandy right now. Like, I'm just gonna do, you know, just some T-perms, just do this a bunch. So people always say this is, um, it's a nice cube, it's just sandy out of the box. Yeah, I can definitely tell it's sandy, so they say it always um, turns out better. So I'm gonna see if it actually does. Alright. The magnet strength is probably about a medium. Like a little bit stronger than my Volk, but not as strong as the other cubes like um the SM or something. So I'm not too good at 4x4, but I'm going to a competition soon in December at um, Madison, Wisconsin. Um if you guys want to go there, you know. See you guys there. Um, it's gonna be fun. So I'm I'm doing a four x four event. That's what mainly why I got this cube. I would do an example solve, but I'm not that good. I usually average around like a minute fifty, and it's just too long. So it's starting to become less sandy. Like every algorithm I do. Oh, still the inner layers are like. I, I want to see if like the. Oh, okay. This is nice. We can do inner layer to out with inner layer to with outer layer. I don't know what to say. It's just because with um my main right now, it's like it's it's very loud. Um, if you do like if you do um if you do inner layer turns with outer layer turns, um, there's like a piece right. I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but it's like a piece right right there where my finger's pointing. Um, it always pops out when I'm doing turns. That's why I don't like this one. It pops very much, and like, I, don't, I just don't like the feeling of it. But with this one, it feels, it just has a very different feeling, and I really like that. Yeah, so right now, um, this is probably going to be a new main, because right now, um, my main is, I'm pretty sure this is the new island 4x4, and then the greatest cube of all time right here, the Shang Shao 4x4. This thing is great. It's very loud, though. Amazing. I'm probably not going to be using these cubes as much, but it'll be fun if I do 
like relays or something. So I'm just gonna scramble this like a three by three, cause I would do it like a four by four, but you know I'm slow. Um, I'm practicing four by four a lot. I've actually gotten quite a bit better, I would say. Can't wait. I want to try to do like it. Oh my god, that's amazing. I can do H perms so easily in here. If I did it on here, that happens, but they split apart. Yep. I can't do it on here as well. See that? Now imagine this. This is like amazing. This is a lot better than I thought this is gonna actually be. So I'm just gonna solve it with my really slow solving time. Do do do. I'm looking through the camera as I solve, so I make sure it's like in frame. So it's like taking me a while to see it through the camera. All right. Um, here we go. I don't know that algorithm, so I'm just gonna do what I usually do. And I learned all my PLLs today, so that's actually amazing. You know, for me. I guess probably already know them all. But yeah, there we go. So magnet strength is nice. Feels a little bit tight right now. As you can see, it's middle layers aren't so much, but like outer layers are kind of tight to me. I've noticed that the layers have gotten less sandy by each and every turn. After I've done the 3 by 3 solve, um, I've done uh, one solve off camera because I was just testing it out. The the layers are definitely getting less sandy, and um, I'm going to really enjoy using this cube. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like uh, like and subscribe, um, comment, share with all your friends. It really helps me out a lot. And if you guys can do that, yeah. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.